AEW Dynamite kicks off with Swerve Strickland vs Jay Lethal in the opening contest of AEW's Continental Classic. It's a round robin tournament with the winner of two groups facing off in a final at World's End. Here are the rules, matches have a 20 minute time limit, you get 3 points for a win, 1 point for a draw and everyone is banned from ringside. Swerve stops the lethal injection with a kick before hitting the house call and a swerve stomp to pick up the win. Here's a look at the Gold League, I believe they said all these matches will take place on Dynamite whereas the Blue League will be on Collision. After a brilliant opening match, I'd like to take the time to encourage you to subscribe and support the channel. Subscribing, liking and commenting on the videos will help, but the best way to help is to watch more videos, so check out the channel and my other videos too. Adam Cole and MJF are here for an in-ring promo. Both lads can hardly walk, the sacrifices of pro wrestling, am I right? Cole gives us an injury update saying he's not close to walking again, never mind wrestling, but he's more concerned about MJF. Cole is worried because the world is gunning for MJF and Cole feels helpless. MJF says he will be fine and whoever the devil is he will make them suffer the devil then pops up on the screen and laughs with a manipulated voice it was robotic and weird Samoa Joe then comes out and reminds MJF that Joe is owed a world championship match for helping Max at full gear Max at first tells Joe to blow him so Joe grabs Max and forces him up against the ropes Adam Cole calms Joe down and tells MJF the new Max would give Joe his title shot MJF wants it tonight but Joe rejects that saying he wants MJF at 100% and the two agree to a match at AEW World's End December 30th one on one for the title Up next is a trio's tag team match It's Daddy Magic, Kuhan Danj and Jake Hager Against the team of Hook, Katsuyori Shibata And Orange Cassidy Before the match Orange has a surprise It's the return of Danhausen Who is very nice but also very evil Hook and Shibata get stereo red rums As Hook makes Ange tap out for the win Adam Cole is backstage with Renee Paquette But gets interrupted by Roderick Strong and the Kingdom Cole snaps at Roderick Telling him that Cole is no longer his best friend And Adam storms off Christian Cage is here with Luchasaurus and Nick Wayne as he rechristens them See what I did there? Christian blames Luchasaurus for the loss And makes him get on one knee Christian strips away the name Luchasaurus As it is associated with losing And christens his dinosaur with the new name Kill Switch after Christian's finisher He then turns to Nick Wayne Who gets on his knees without even being asked But Christian tells Wayne to never get on his knees for another man He christens Nick Wayne the prodigy And hugs the son he always wanted Everyone's favourite side character Nick Wayne's hot mum shows up And Christian eviscerates her Because she was a waitress Random but true Christian says it's a good thing Buddy Wayne is dead Because Nick would have disowned him anyway Also Christian is a better wrestler <laughs> Killswitch gets between Nick's hot mum and Christian As Christian tells him to get on his knees again Christian pushes Killswitch into Shayna As she takes a tumble Christian sends Nick Wayne to get chairs As he sets Shayna up for a concerto But tells Killswitch to do it instead He stops when Adam Copeland's music hits As Cope spears Nick Wayne and boots Killswitch Christian gets in and goes face to face with Copeland But Killswitch Switch bails him out. Copeland spears Nick again and goes to concerto him in front of his crying mother and does so as Christian shouts from the ramp, that's his son! Brilliant from Cage. Shayna checks on her son as an intense Copeland stares down Christian. Back to Continental Classic action, Roosh takes on Jay White. Jay almost bumps the ref but uses that to his advantage as he low blows Roosh and hits a Blade Runner to pick up the win. Main event time and it's another Continental Classic match, the last of the night. It's Mark Briscoe against John Moxley. At some point Briscoe gets busted open, the pure shock that in a John Moxley match the other guy bleeds first. Briscoe comes off the top and gets caught with a paradigm shift but no sells it and hits a seated drop kick for a double down. Briscoe hits a froggy bow but Mox kicks out at two. Mox hits a King Kong lariat and a death rider but Briscoe shockingly kicks out at two. Moxley hits a curb stomp and another death rider to get the win. Here's a look at the gold league standings with Mox, Swerve and Jay White the three winners tonight. Whoever has the most points come world's end will fight in the final. The two men shake hands after their main event. Tremendous amounts of respect between these lads. Here's a look at the Blue League as well, which includes Brian Danielson, Brody King, Andrade, Claudio Castagnoli, Daniel Garcia, and Eddie Kingston. Their matches will be on collision, so go check them out. The show goes off the air with John Moxley celebrating his win.